Like and subscribe. <laughs> What's going on YouTube? My name is Zach Central and welcome to the channel. So if you haven't been following, first two videos of this series was the disassemble and then getting started on the wrap. So driver's side is basically done. Craig's finishing up on some handles. I am going to start on this side. The goal of today is to get this side done. Um, I'm gonna be kind of pressed for time. It is, what, five o'clock now? It's about five o'clock and I need to record, actually work, and then have time to edit and upload the video or get it started uploading on my computer and try to be asleep by 10-ish because I wake up at 3.30 to go to work. So these days are going to be kind of challenging. So... Didn't even think about it when I got home, but we needed to turn the heaters on because it is cold in Texas. Or it's colder than it should be, at least. So, we got the heater on 68 in here, which means it's good enough to start wrapping. I'm gonna start with some smaller pieces. Um, the only thing that makes this more time consuming than usual wraps is the fact that it's a white car. I'm having to tuck and hide all sorts of gaps. So like, let me show you guys real quick and pop this hood. All right, let me show you guys. So for instance, I way over killed it, but here's the fender. I don't need to go that far in, but I did. Oh well, same thing with the doors. I made sure this door was tucked all the way. Showed you guys the jams. So I'm doing this all around the car. And that's just more time consuming. I have to do panel by panel as opposed to, usually I can lay just this whole side and just knock them out trim it accordingly in the gaps, tuck it. Black cars are super easy. So this car is taking a lot longer than in usual. So without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and get to work, guys. All right, guys, let's see if I can't lay this panel by myself. Oh yeah? Yeah, why not? What's the words that you have? Crap, here. Nah, no, I won't scrap anything. We're not steam worse though. Oh, I guess you're right. I guess that would be the worst case scenario. Cars don't want these more than we can go around. Huh? I hear when you got a squeezy in your mouth. Heat gun! You might need it. Oh, yeah. Be careful when you're doing this, if you do it this way, and don't cut your car. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to do that. Yeah, I can imagine. Just having this nice long fucking line right across. So basically I just set an anchor on this body line. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna work now down from this body line. I'll show you guys. I don't know if you can see this in the video. What you do is you try to get those out. Same thing over here. Look at that. Oh, yeah. 
Look at that, buddy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 You fancy. Alright. I think we can work with that, man. So. Yes, sir. Not too bad. Of course, this is probably the easiest panel on the entire car. I would have to say. Don't do the rest by yourself. You know, I can do a lot of it by myself. Bumpers? Probably not so much. Yeah, do the bumpers by yourself. Let me know how that works. I could, I could let you know. It may not be done by that, man. <laughs> Just saying. Yeah, I might have a mental breakdown too. <laughs> No heat, that means there's no extra added stress, tension, anything on the material. The material is not overstretched. <laughs> well, some panels just need heat though. Like door handles? Like door handles. So, now, do this. picking up and I'm relieving tension. It's not really on anything. You just kind of hold it. And make sure you're always pushing to let the air get out. That's the main thing. You don't want to trap air in here. That's why I worked from this. That's why I worked from this body line down so that I could pull the material, squeegee the air out. Now I'm working from this body line up. So just like that, actually, I'm gonna show you guys this real quick. We'll need my glove, my glove. I don't know where my glove is. I got one in my pocket if you wanna use it. Oh, found it. Okay. So these wrap gloves, amazing, by the way. Won't scratch the material. I'm using, so. We're gonna use some heat. And we're gonna start from the outside. And work your way around. So there's a bigger hole on this side. So all of this air in here, we are going to push that direction to get it out of that hole. So that, again, this air has somewhere to escape. You don't sort of want to overheat the material. So, we're just going to work little half circle motions. Just like that. That's done. And now, let me see. There we go. We got a bolt right here that is behind the door handle. And it looks like I also got some trash in there. Awesome. At least that's behind the door handle as well, too. Yeah, that hurts a scratch. Could be a scratch. Oh, it could be. Yeah, I mean, it's not an air bubble, so. 
So now just to trim this, which now I got my hard lines to cut on. Hopefully that video wasn't too long, I'm trying to be a little bit more descriptive than the last video. But I'll show you guys real quick. So, ooh, almost lost the phone. So as you can see, this is either the trash. I don't know, it's weird. It's not a bubble, but it will not be seen. It is gonna be behind the door handle. So trim that. I'm gonna post heat this whole panel. I don't know if you can see, see the little squeegee lines. I gotta make sure that all of this air is completely heated. So we'll go over that whole panel. I just wanted to give you guys a quick demo. Go ahead and so. Door is it's nowhere close to done, but it's done. Now I'm gonna have to tuck in all this area and then do all the gaps. Finish the door handle. Oh, here's a little air bubble. Let's see, where can we see it on camera? There's one, all right. So the air release in this is amazing. So, okay. And no more. All right. So I'm gonna finish this panel up. See you guys in a minute. Ooh, we got the door handles done on this side. Gas cap is done. Basically the only thing over here is the rockers, which will probably be last. I'm gonna try to knock this hood out. This door is done. Still got all this. Now the problem that we have is Craig is not gonna be here to help me tomorrow. He's got a birthday party. So I'm going to have to now figure this out what I can and can't do without him. I'm gonna need him to help me lay this quarter panel and probably the hood. Uh, the rear door I can do myself. Maybe now trunk is gonna be last because I need that from scrap from the bumpers. Uh, so front and rear bumpers will be after that. Looks like tomorrow I'll do the door, put in all the handles, maybe do some interior pieces. I haven't even decided if I'm gonna do interior pieces. I need to focus on the priorities, which means we can paint tomorrow. Tomorrow the weather's gonna be nice. I know I'm gonna paint the fog light bezels because they're chrome and I don't like it. Oh, I can do chrome delete tomorrow maybe. Maybe I can do that video for you guys tomorrow. Um, yeah, so we got these little guys. These are getting painted because they can be wrapped. It's just more hassle than I actually want. I think I'm gonna leave the black chrome at least this go around, maybe change it in the future. We don't have a lot to do, guys. Uh, just big pieces, really. And then focus on some of the other things that I would like to get done, but will survive and we'll get it to Tuned Originals without it. Yep. So let's get some more stuff done. All right, guys. This hood... <laughs> this is gonna be a lot of fun to wrap. I decided we're gonna do the hood now. Yeah. This is probably the only area that's gonna be an issue. We will probably take care of that area first. I will probably have Craig try to record some of this if once we get it laid together because I don't have a good spot to put up the tripod and do this. So we're gonna go ahead and get at it 
and then I'll probably give him the phone to record. You ready, Craig? Why is there a horn? Did you hear a horn? Yes. Is there someone out there? Probably our neighbors. Probably our neighbors. Like All right. Open and close doors. Neighbors. Their driveway is like right next to ours, which is weird. We're gonna wrap. Alright, I don't wanna record myself dying, jumping down. Oh. Alright, I just got to. Got to. Where, where are you going? <laughs> Hold on, buddy. So we have a visitor. One second. Hey, you got presents and everything? You're in like every one of my vlogs, what by up? the way. <laughs> well, it's like, oh, you in a daily? Yeah. What is this? Well, I just got my tires, man. I come check them uh, out. Oh, you got They're your tires? So pretty. I got one with me. So pretty. So, so pretty. pretty. Should I not put this on the vlog? That's no. Fine. Oh wait, no, same wheels. Same wheels, right? Same wheels. All right. The cool stuff won't be here. Cool stuff? Um, yeah. Ooh. Look how pretty those are. Oh, those are nice. Oh, dude, those are nice. See, I need to get my cheap ass tires off fine. <laughs> dude, I like that. Those not pretty. So, see, you're at least going to have these on for tuned originals, huh? Yeah, unfortunately. Unfortunately. Not that these are bad, but yeah, they're not the specialty ones. If any of y'all actually follow me and watch a lot of my videos, this dude is in like every one of my videos. <laughs> so from like with, and subscribe. From, so like and subscribe <laughs> with the plug, yes. So, <laughs> you was there whenever I blew my tire? Yeah. You've been in like every car meet video I've done. I've known this dude since high school, it's crazy, so what? 12, 15 years? Oh, that's a long time. All right, so now I gotta go show him the color in person. And he's bringing presents. It hadn't been a fluke thing, because he was probably going about 35 or so. I just know there's a lot of wood. This is what's a pain in the ass. But I got half of it done. I could broke a sweat. It wore me clean. It wore me out. But it's what it is. Sorry, guys, I forgot to record. I got caught up. All right, so. Bro, oh my god. Yeah, see, I told you the wheel wall doesn't work. Suicide. Wait, you're fine. Suicide. I'm not suicide door. Suicide doors, man. No. <laughs> yeah. Oh, suicide door. Okay, that's kind of cool. That is dope. All right. So these guys are trying to get me to two-tone my car. And I told them that it doesn't work because this body line just doesn't work with these fenders. And then now that we've got suicide doors and all sorts of other nonsense. So, we didn't get as much done as I had wanted to, but the hood took so, so, so much longer than I thought. And it was not fun. So for all of you guys who have this hood and have had them wrapped, they did a good job, <laughs> but I'm happy with it. I'll show you guys. Hey. Okay. So hopefully I can, y'all can see where this car is going. I am stoked guys. Um, as you can see, we still have a lot of white to cover up, but it's going to happen. It's Monday night. I have till Saturday morning to get this car done. It will be blue for sure. I might not be able to finish some of the other things that I had wanted to. Uh, do what? Friday night. Friday night, for Friday night. all nighter. So we might have the, the Evo over here doing its final touches. And 
I'll pull an all nighter if I have to, and we'll just have another long YouTube video for you guys with some uh some final touches but i'm gonna call it a night because it's almost 10 o'clock i still gotta edit this i still gotta get it on the computer um i'm sorry guys not a lot of content today hopefully tomorrow is a little bit better maybe some different content because this is kind of repetitive from what it was but if you like this video hit that thumbs up subscribe hit the bell for notifications and we'll see you guys again tomorrow with more content I just want to keep you guys updated with the build and <laughs> the, they're dead set on this two-tone over here. <laughs> All right, guys. Y'all have a good night. We'll see you tomorrow.